Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Cowboy Bebop episode number 15 and 16. Okay, uh, so in the previous episode, uh, there were like the two episodes where one of the episodes was extremely amazing, uh, which was obviously like the Jupiter Jazz. Uh, we got to know about Gren's uh, like fate, what happened to him. And uh, it was a little bit, it shed a little bit of uh, light on the whole uh, vicious thing that was going on, like who vicious is, like and a little bit of, uh, kind of a little bit of light on uh, Spike's backstory as well. Not completely, we got a little bit of information, not much. We only know that uh, Spike is looking for uh, the lady. Um, and uh, yeah, and after that, the next episode was with the Chess Master Hex one. And that was an interesting episode. Like, uh, it was an unusual and quite, uh, what can I say? Uh, yeah, unusual kind of uh, episode. It had like a uh, what can I say? Uh, the thing that they used, the uh, like uh, not they used the uh, chess master Higgs, That the plan that he used was quite like intelligent. I have to say, like that was something quite unique, and I really liked the uniqueness of the uh, episode number fourteen. So both episodes were quite great. So I'm looking forward to what uh, these two episodes bring. This is episode number fifteen and sixteen. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 15 of Cowboy Bebop. Okay, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3. Oh, sorry. Okay, no. Scratch that. Again. 3. 2. 1. Go. Ah, uh, but Ooh. okay, so um, this is episode number fifteen. Uh, as far as I can remember, uh, this anime has twenty six episodes, so. We are more than halfway, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. So today, like today, I'll be completing episode fifteen and sixteen. Uh, then there will be like uh, nine more episodes. No, ten more episodes. Okay. So we'll like take five more weeks. So by the next uh, month, I mean, I think December. By the end of December, uh, it will be over. Okay. So. Yeah, like this anime is quite, uh, what can I say, like this is the first time I'm watching such an old show, like uh, other than this I've only watched Detective Conan, uh, which is quite old. And then the others were like uh, recent and like Naruto I think was from 2000s, I can't remember the exact date when Naruto was like released. So it is quite modern like Naruto, but this is quite old, like this is, what the year, what was the year I forgot. Anyways, let's see this episode. Okay, what is this? Hmm? Okay. Oh. What are they doing? Selling fish? Evidence? Oh my god, stop! <laughs> Malnutrition kid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. That's a uh, like, fun way to ride a shoulder. <laughs> What the? My god, each and every character is like... <laughs> has their own thing. <laughs> oh no. Poor Ryan, he just wants to play. Oh, he... 
Okay, he doesn't want to play. He so. <laughs> oh. Who? Thin eyebrows. Who? The dog. <laughs> the dog is like the funniest thing. <laughs> oh. Who is this lady? Wait a minute. What the? Wait, this is. Is this fake? Wait, she so she was experimented upon something? Um what? That's fake, isn't it? Or is this like some kind of a sister or something? No wounds left. At a million for the bill. What? What? Wait a minute, this is her debt? Yeah, this is Faye. What is happening? Whitney Hart Muscle Mode. Oh, this guy. Lawyer. Will you wait? Oh. Well. Oh my god, what? I'll have to talk about this later on. Um, like, like another thing uh, I have to talk. So, fifty-eight years. That means she went to sleep in two thousand ten. What? <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait a minute, there's a lot of things to take in, suddenly, like... Um, oh my god, okay, well,
What? Um. <laughs> well, you can't hitchhike. Wow, like... So that means like... She is a lot... Older than uh, Spike and Jet, all of them. Okay. Oh yeah, that was uh, that's also the case. That is... <clears throat> Wait, what the hell? Barcode? Okay, that is a weird... <laughs> wow, the books just like looking at all of these like uh, futuristic things What the? Insurance company? Wait. Wait, what? So th these are like loan sharks? Hmm. What the? Oh my god. So he died. Oh no! What? Wait a minute! What? Wait a minute, so... Wait, I, I don't know what to feel about this, like what the hell? <laughs> oh 
my god, this episode, like... <laughs> I don't think so. Like... Hmm. Madam Killer, what? <laughs> Wait, who is this? Wait. What? Oh my I did not like re recognize him. So she like he was a uh, like uh, <laughs> like a con man. Fat implant. So he was tricking her. Yeah, just just to like run away from his debts or something. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god, these people! They are here to like break him out or something? Yep. <laughs> Okay. Wait, so. But they. T like those. The doctor and the other uh, lady came here to break him out or something? So. So, like, the thing that she's doing is counterproductive to him, isn't it? Oh yeah, those things as well. Oh, <laughs> Spike. <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> oh my god.
Okay. Oh. Well, game over. Ugh. Oh my god, these guys. <laughs> oh my, this guy knows something. Yeah, why? Like, the illness, I get it, but... What? Oh my god. Wait. Oh boy, well... <laughs> well, okay. Well, they were all in it together. What the? Is he tricking her again? Oh my god, he's tricking him her again. Who knows? What? Well, who would have yeah, who gives a damn? Yep. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, what a weird number. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, wow, this was an unexpected episode. It was really good. I, I like this one. So, like, uh, what can I say? This episode was one thing after the other, just like, like finding out one thing, then suddenly something else, then suddenly like something else, and then suddenly something else. Like, first we f find out like, um, uh, Faye was cryogenetically frozen okay that was itself shocking but then suddenly uh, like oh, oh, <laughs> like the guy who helped him uh, her he died okay that was i, I kind of uh, like anticipated something happening because like uh, Faye was uh, sad when like he was she was reciting the tale to ein but the most surprising thing was like his dad <laughs> his all of his debt was now the pro like the property of um 
Fay. Now here's one thing. I, at that moment, I kind of thought, like, like, what the hell? Like, he died. So, like, what will it even matter to him? Like, if his like uh, debt goes to Fay or someone else. So, if he was tricking her, then why did he like try to save her and then like ultimately died? I, I thought maybe like he accidentally died. He never knew this was coming. So, like, his plan went to waste. So. Okay, uh, yeah, as I was saying, so his plan went to West, so that was something he did not expect. But turns out that all of that was a part of another plan that he, <laughs> that he made, that uh, like by faking his own death, he will get rid of all his debts by like dumping it on Faye. And as he said, starting a new life, then most probably he like messed up somewhere again and like his uh, name went on the bounty uh, board and all of these things happen so like it was like one thing after the other and like thinking about it uh the whole debt thing is not even Faye's own fault like he is uh, like she is uh carrying the debt of something that she was uh won't be able to do anything about like she was cryogenically frozen her past like no one knows what her past is uh and who her parents were like anything and she is like 58 years like older than she looks that means like when he was 20, yeah, she was 20 and she was frozen. Uh, her parents were, I'm hoping like 40 or uh, 42, 45 years age. And after 58 years, they must be dead now if they were alive at that moment. And any of like probably her relatives or something were extremely old now. So there's nothing that she can do. No one would be able to even recognize her if they like look at her now. Like for like so many years. So nothing she can do about those. So like... This is just something like a bad luck on her uh, part like she can't do anything about like she has to give back the debt that she hasn't even like spent like she like the that was not her fault at all and on top of that uh, the other guys what was his name Whitney or something I can't remember anyways that guy's uh, debt was like piled on top of that so yeah and who knows the things that he like said and everything he kind of saved her i'm not quite sure yeah he kind of saved her in a sense because like uh Faye was all depressed and everything and he would have probably tried to run away and uh i don't know like something bad might, might have must have happened uh, if like that guy did not stop her so in a way he kind of saved her <clears throat> so yeah that is something that uh, i should give him credit for but other than that nope but yeah okay so yeah as i was uh, one thing i was going to say here like uh, the whole thing about being cryogenically frozen because of a disease and uh, like uh, the cure of the disease has not come out so she was frozen and uh, after a time like now when she is like um, like back uh, most probably the cure of the disease has been found and she can be treated or something who knows so yeah about this thing like like uh, this is something completely unrelated to this anime which is like uh, I like recently uh, like like there was another story that was did the same thing uh, obviously this is like a lot older so this is the first time uh, the thing I'm not sure if something like this has been done before this as well I'm not sure but anyways uh, yeah as I was saying so I, I came across the same similar story which was I don't know don't know if you guys know or not because like you know you guys know that I, I am a big like visual novels fan I love reading visual novels and one of the what can I say things that I had uh, like eyes on for quite a long time was robotic notes if you guys know it is like a science fiction adventure series one of the like it is related to Steins Gate, Chaos 8, Chaos Child all of these things like these are um, if you guys don't know these are like uh, a group of um, novels uh, visual novels which are under the name of uh, science fiction adventure series I think something like that science adventure series uh, something like that so like all of these are related somehow or some way or other all of this takes place in the same place same universe so the robotic notes uh, there was an anime here quite a long time ago but that uh, I did not watch the anime because I wanted to wait for the visual novel to get translated and like in a, a few months back it got translated and I like read it all and yeah in that uh, novel or uh, I think you if you guys watch that anime you can uh, like see that as well like a similar thing was did like uh, a girl who was uh, terminally ill 
uh, there was no cure for her so she was fro frozen by a scientist and uh, her <coughs> like her uh, consciousness was transferred into an ai which like ran about uh, the place like a ghost then after a long time uh, she was like uh, after quite a few years she was uh, brought back uh, by unfreezing her from the cryogenic sleep and at that time the cure came out so she became uh, like she was able to be cured so the, that uh, like i kind of like uh, what can i say like that was just something that was uh, like i uh, like i came across in, in, in that novel and today i'm like watching it in, in this anime as well so that was just something that i wanted to share like uh, so yeah uh, as i was saying like this was an extremely surprising episode a lot of things i did not even expect in my like wildest dreams like suddenly it's like brought upon us like uh Faye is someone who was cryogenetically frozen frozen and she's old quite old <laughs> i don't know like yeah that was really surprising and so uh, another thing I have to say, like, so the uh, doctor and the nurse, all and uh, the guy as well, uh, the Whitney guy, they were all uh, like uh, in it together. So um, and that guy called the doctor his uncle. So they were like all rock stars. I'm guessing uh, the doctor must be a doctor because he like uh, unf unfrozen, like unfreezed her from the sleep, and like. Um, I think like checked her also like for any kind of uh, like side effects uh, of being frozen for some like we saw her uh, him treating her so he might be, like he might be a real doctor but uh, at the same time he must also be a fraudster or something I'm not sure okay so yeah this was um, episode number 15 yeah this was a really interesting episode I really liked it so okay so without wasting any time uh, we'll be starting episode number 16 so yeah just a sec uh we're starting it all right so here it is um episode number 16 as always i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started here's the countdown three two one go Oh, another thing I uh, forgot to mention, like, I really liked uh, the whole uh, futuristic thing, like, the whole uh, thing that is going on, the, all of the things that we saw in the previous episode, like that washing machine, and um, the cell phone, I can kind of, uh, like, uh, what can I say, guess the cell phone is like that, because all these cell phones are becoming more smaller and compact, and, uh, oh no, that was not a cell phone, what the hell am I saying, that was a thermometer, oh, sorry, scratch that. <laughs> okay so all of these things and the most thing that the one thing that i was really impressed of was the book like like we already have like tabs like uh like ebooks and stuff like those but that was a holographic book like that was something really like interesting to see like i've never seen any anime or any kind of uh like any anything where a holographic book was like in like we've seen books with um anim like uh, tabs uh like uh screens where like uh you're like using it as an ebook but this is really interesting like the book opened and there were like holograms of a child and a dog playing wow that was something like really unique i really like that <clears throat> okay let's Let's start at episode number 16. <clears throat> what? Oh. <clears throat> oh, sorry. sorry. Who is this? <clears throat> oh! Wait, there's like... Those are like the bar codes. Aren't they? Hmm. 
Dom Perry, Kim. I still remember Kim Tama. Dom Perry. Um. Okay. Yes. Wait, so uh, did I like, uh, was, was that my imagination or was there like a barcode in his hand and the guy's neck as well? <laughs> as always, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> bonsai <laughs> what um <laughs> fed fed <though. laughs> Uh, arm. Oh, must be some kind of a memory or something. <clears throat> oh oh yeah those are the oh no those are not barcodes those are like just stripes okay okay oh Oh boy, this guy is like one of those guys. Ooh, damn. Oh, the blood is floating. Gravity. Assassin for the syndicate. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> this guy knows each other, I think. Seven years. <laughs> Ooh. Damn, cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Oh, so this guy is fat. Trouble on the prison trunk. Okay. <laughs> oh, so he knows these people. Ah. Okay, something. 
I'm guessing something regarding that hand <clears throat> related to the hand and the ship. Yep, I knew it, like uh, something related to his hand. Who mm, died? Damn, Jet looked. Uh, wait. So that's how he like got his hand um injured. Barricade? How? How can you make a barricade in the space? Oh, okay. So those are prisoner, uh, I think, identification or something. I was thinking, like, what were those stripes? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nope, he won't take it, or will he? Oh no, they're they're trapping them, aren't they? Okay. <clears throat> yep. Close to the place where they can hide. Europa. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> oh no, the shower. <laughs> what are they doing? Is it watering the bonsai? No, he said that if I don't come back, then... <laughs> Between us and Udai Taksin. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh boy. Uh, that won't work. Oh, they're using ice for power. Oh no. Well, they can like, oh my god. Oh boy, here it is. Okay, uh. Oh my god, it, it got her. Oh, that's a yeah. That's an unusual thing to like attach in a spaceship. Oh yeah, bingo indeed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's trying to bail. Oh boy, and surprise. Oh. 
Oh, he was on top. What the? Uh, yeah, this guy is quite, what can I say, swift. Oh, his hand saved him. Oh. Oh, oh my god. What? What? My God. So he was also, oh my God. Oh no. And he was shot. Okay, here it is. Went in on your own. But he only had one bullet in it. He only... Uh, okay, so he was... Yep, uh, he knew that there was no bullet in it. Yep. Hmm. 
and this is the end well so i think uh the guy um bad like i think he left it to his luck like uh we see him uh putting a single bullet in it like i think uh he was most probably like feeling guilty about all the things that he had did and uh, uh like the betrayal that he did and i'm sure like he wanted good for jet because he could have like killed jet but he did not he only injured his hand i'm t talking about the first time so as he said like uh the person who goes too much into the syndicate's uh like workings they either die or they like leave so he had another choice he had a choice to kill jet the first time but he did not he like injured him so that uh he would like um jet would leave the uh, place and not come back so that is how he i think he tried to save his own friend and after even after doing that and like lying to him he like felt guilty somewhere deep down inside so i think he like asked jet like jet to come here and then uh for like apprehending like uday then he like planned everything and then he thought just like he put one single bullet in the magazine of the uh, revolver and uh, after like uh, inserting a single bullet he went in killed uday with that and i think he left the whole thing on to fate he thought that uh, like the whole guilt thing was already uh, biting on him and uh, left it all on fate and thought that if jet kills me then he kills me i will try to threaten him with an empty magazine uh, revolver and if like jet shoots me or something that will be that and he took uh, like a gamble like that and he killed Udai then he threatened Jet with a uh, uh, empty uh, revolver and Jet to save himself shot him and he died like that so uh, this was I think s s some kind of his own way to cope up with the guilt and uh like uh he must have been feeling like guilty for the past so many years and unable to do anything about it so he took a like opportunity and took the opportunity and decided to uh like uh what can i say like he could not even uh, i think like uh yeah like he like he had i think he had no choice like as he said like he was also part of the whole thing so he himself cannot uh like betray them like the syndicate so he had no choice and the only choice he had was to most probably like this so i think this was like his own way of i don't know like this was his own way of asking for forgiveness but that is like uh not asking for forgiveness i doubt he wanted forgiveness uh i think this is like his only way to what can i say uh like i don't know like only way for like this was like his only way left something like that like he at least felt that and like, he was also not able to say anything to jet uh because of the whole bit like the whole betraying thing and everything so yeah like this was kind of um not sad but um like a type of a job that that had no like a, like plus points like this was something that he had to do and he took a kind of like a gamble and he died doing it yeah like this is something like i've seen uh, this before as well like uh this anime kind of like does like things like this like uh, the people we like think that yeah this guy is probably the bad guy or something they kind of like make a twist and uh like at the end we come to realize that maybe maybe that guy was not as bad as he seemed
maybe circumstances were uh, something that forced him to do whatever he did and like, this is like um truth uh, this is like a truth in like a lot of things like for example a lot of bad things that people do i'm not not only talking about anime like in the real world as well like, a lot of bad things that people do most of them are uh, victims of circumstances and like we judge people without even knowing the whole picture and everything and like uh, i don't like it is like a thing that uh, human beings uh, when like when especially in the internet like when people like trash talk others and everything and all of these things like uh, you are not uh, like knowing who who is the person sitting uh, on the other side of the uh, screen and you're just like uh, like trash talking or like blaming him about something without even knowing about the whole picture about the circumstances that he has faced and like i don't know like that is something that i've seen a lot in especially in the internet, internet because like the person who is uh, talking bad about the other person uh, his face is not shown like he can do it anonymously like that is like the main thing about the whole cyberbullying thing like people why do people cyberbully because obviously like you cannot you don't know who is cyberbullying you like uh, like they're like all accounts and uh, with some kind of an avatar like an character in the uh, profile picture and you don't even know who the person is so like the other person who is like insulting you or trash talking you uh, he like he becomes more vicious like that happens like when you do not show your face to the other person you become a lot more crueler like if the same thing like if something like this happened that uh, the person who is trash talking you uh, if like uh, the other person could see the face uh, whenever he is doing that and the guy knows that yeah my identity is exposed whatever i'm saying everyone will know that yeah i am the guy this is the face of the person who is like saying these things so if it was like something like that a lot of this whole cyberbullying and this whole kind of trash talking people in the internet these things would drastically reduce like uh, i think there was like some kind of an experiment done on this as well like when people were like i, I can't remember like there was like an experiment where like uh, there was like a whole uh, like a room and there were like uh, people who were watching uh, a guy and uh, it was like kind of like an experiment and everyone was like wearing masks and there were like audiences sitting and there was like a voting going on uh, in the voting it was said like uh, either you do a good thing for the guy or a bad thing for the guy and the majority of the people uh, like picked the bad thing for the guy who was like a part of the experiment and they were like all laughing and everything i'm not sure if the experiment is something that was really done or like it is something made up but anyways my point is like uh whenever like your face is not shown people become a lot more um, vicious a lot more crueler so that is like the main problem like if you like suddenly go outside and you see a lot of people you would probably uh, like you see something irritating you and you would probably like not men like mention it do not do anything about it or probably like if that guy comes to you you'll probably smile and say something and go away avoid him that's the extent of you will do because your face is being shown to other people but in the same way if like something was happening on the internet and someone was probably like um, doing something that you did not like you will like start like typing an, a comment and say stuff bad stuff to that guy and insult him and everything and they it will like uh, start a whole full blown like an internet war and other people will also jump the bandwagon and everything and it will be like a huge mess why do people do this because your face is not being shown to the other people like that is like this thing so yeah <laughs> why am i talking about all of this thing <laughs> anyways uh I can't even remember what I was like uh, saying the, like what related to the anime was I saying that I suddenly went into this path anyways this is something that uh, like uh, I've uh, like I've seen in a lot of people like it, it is like same for every each and every guy like uh, your identity is the main thing that you like you try to always keep a good image of yourself 
So if like your face is not being shown, you suddenly become a lot more crueler. It is like the same for every people. Unless and until that guy is like a pure saint. Like there are people like that. There definitely exist people like that who who are like um, uh, epitome of kindness. And they're like uh, extremely good. Those type of people. But majority of the people are not like that. And that is uh, like every people has some kind of uh, bad part in their heart. Each and every people have it. So yeah. Anyways, I can't even remember why I started talking about this. Like, anyways, okay, let's. Uh, as I was discussing about this episode, so yeah, so yeah, as I was saying, like uh, the whole thing was because uh, obviously because I think he was unable to cope up with the whole betraying thing, and he most probably thought this was like a way for an end. And he did not even uh, like have a other way out, like betraying the syndicate. I don't, I doubt he had a way like that. So he called in Jet, spent a good time with him, his friend. And even though like uh, the whole betraying thing was most probably like uh, uh, suffering, like he was suffering from it, like he was being uh, like every time, I, I, like I think like he was every time like he, after seeing his face, he most probably like suffered thinking about the time when he betrayed him and everything like this happened and he took a chance and he died so yeah like yeah this like as i was saying like this anime had a way of like uh the uh, people who you think are actually bad and most probably not bad at all like, there must be some kind of circumstances uh in their life oh yeah i was talking about circumstances yeah, uh, and like how people are not uh, like somehow like all most of the people are like a victim of circumstances. Yeah. Anyways, I kind of like <laughs> trailed off on my own thing, but that was something that I like uh, kind of thought about this. So what else was was in this episode? Nothing much. This was more like a little bit of backstory of Dutch uh, uh, Jet, and um, Jet, like we get to know where he gets his hand from. And uh, as like Faye said, like why don't you do surgery? And he kind of like got mad. This was the reason why. Like this is some kind of a sentimental thing about him. Uh, not sentimental, but uh, a thing that uh, he will most probably like regret it at that time. Like he was unable to catch Udai, but uh, like there was something that uh, a task that he had not completed. So like he, after like hearing Fat uh, uh, calling him and uh, after listening about the whole thing about Udai, he thought like maybe like I should go and uh, do the work that I was unable to do once, to complete the work. But like he, I di didn't even know that the whole thing was kind of a plot uh, of the whole syndicate and his friend fat was also uh, forced to do uh, like betray him so yeah and i'm guessing like now he is who knows like uh, he definitely is feeling sad for his friend but uh, i'm sure like a lot of um, baggage that he was carrying kind of like reduced after uday was brought to justice not justice but he was killed but anyways uh, and he got to know the truth and I doubt he will uh, uh, like hate his friend because obviously his friend fat was was his friend and he did everything uh, like he betrayed him to s like in like in the wrong run to save him I think like uh, like the the thing that he said that either they die or they like leave the whole place that thing is like striking me because uh, fat did not like explicitly said uh, say that yeah i betrayed you because i wanted to save you in the long run but i think that it, it was something like that like he injured him uh, because he wanted the best for jet he wanted to, uh, him to get injured so that he could would leave the place uh, and like if he stayed there he would probably go into more uh, kind of dangerous jobs and like uh, get into the syndicates uh, nitty-gritty stuff and he would have probably been killed so fearing for that he most probably betrayed him uh, himself and injured him so that he won't come back and he would be like um, out of the whole thing and 
uh, like uh, it would be like resolved and he would be able to save jet that way so yeah yeah that is uh, kind of like a sad conclusion of the whole thing <laughs> yeah so yeah guys and uh, this was episode number um what was it 16 16 of cowboy bebop so yeah uh, these two episodes were quite good uh, i really liked the previous episode uh, that is episode number 15 that was something really unexpected and amazing i really liked that episode and this episode was kind of sad and everything and we get a little bit of jet's uh, backstory and all yeah uh, this was episode number 16 guys so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed please be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode anything about this anime i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys i'll be back with two new episodes of cowboy Beep Up next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day